How to create shortcut modules in Power Monitoring Expert Designer. When programming an ion meter or the VIP module in PME, it may be more efficient or even required to use data already available in another part of the program or framework. For clarity, you may also want your new program in a new grouping window. This video will demonstrate how creating shortcuts in Designer can more clearly define a framework with minimal effort in the future. For the purposes of this demonstration, I've already completed the functionality of my program and now just want to clean it up a bit. In general use, it would be more efficient to create required shortcuts during the programming process. As you can see on the screen, I've developed a framework to log some of my meter data at one minute intervals, only while the generators are active. But just at a glance, all that can be seen is my data recorder and a note. So let's add some shortcuts so that we can see exactly what feeds this module. First, let's go to the other modules that are involved in this framework. I already have all the windows open, so I'm going to click Windows, Arrange All in the menu bar. The other modules that create this framework are Power Meter, Clock Module, an arithmetic module called Gen Test, and a set point module Enable Log Mon. Let's begin creating shortcuts with a set point module. So do a shift, control, click, and drag. Note the icon in the bottom left of the module. This denotes that the module is a shortcut and not an actual module. Next, we will move the arithmetic module with another shift, control, click, and drag. Then for this framework, we will complete with moving the power meter module and the clock module. Note that all the modules we have moved have the shortcut icon displayed. With all the modules in the same window, we can clearly see the lines or the path that the program follows. So the power meter has several inputs going into the data recorder. These are voltages, currents, and powers as sources to record. If we move our modules just a little bit, we can see that the power meter module also has a line going to gen test into the arithmetic module. This is a voltage. All we're doing in this is just testing to see if the voltage is above zero. Then if we go from the arithmetic module to the set point module, the set point module is converting that numeric number into a Boolean status so that we can enable the data recorder when the generators are running. In the clock module, if we follow that line, we will see that it records on every new minute. So the clock module is forcing the data recorder to record data once per minute when it is enabled. So I'll move the modules once again, just so that in the future I can clearly see the lines in the path of the program. This is not required and will differ per framework creator. Some quick notes on a shortcut module. First, any change made in a shortcut module will be reflected in the original. So if we go to our power meter module and change the PT primary to 240, click OK, then click OK again, we'll notice that the original power meter module now has a dotted line, meaning that it is an unsaved state. So let's press, press Control S, this saves it. Now let's open up our power meter module original and we can see that the PT primary is now 240. The other thing of note is that the if you delete a shortcut module, it is the only module that will be deleted. So note the clock one shortcut under the item name here. This means that we are just deleting the shortcut module. Let's cancel out of that. If we delete the original, so if we were to delete the arithmetic module, here are the original, it would also delete all associated shortcuts. So this is something to be aware of when you're deleting modules in case you have other frameworks that you might break by deleting this module. So know where shortcuts are and know what is connected to that module. Thank you.